for my coaches but this is perfect for teachers friends or any kind of occasion today I'm gonna to be making chocolate bouquets I'm so excited so let's get started so the first thing that you'll need to make these chocolate bouquets is as you probably guessed a lot of chocolate even more than this you can use any kind of chocolate you want I chose two types but you can just do one you could do three or as many types as you want it could be your favorite chocolate or their favorite chocolate. Next, you'll need tissue paper. So I chose this pink one, this white one, and this sparkly one. So what I did is I cut the white one and the pink one into these little squares, and I rounded off the corners, and this is what they look like. And they don't have to be perfect because the flower isn't perfect, of course, and it won't really show once you put them together, so I did the white and pink like that. So the next thing that you'll need is cellophane, and I got this from the dollar store in this roll. And then I already cut them into little squares. They're bigger than the tissue paper, and they have nice sharp corners, and I'm going to use this to wrap the chocolate. Next, you'll need some bamboo sticks, and these will be the stem of your flowers. So next, you'll need tape. And the tape is to secure the cellophane to the chocolate, and the chocolate with the cellophane on it to the bamboo sticks. The next items are optional, but I have three rolls of paper ribbons. I have a light green, a light pink, and a dark green. And then I also have some other ribbons that I could use for my bouquet. I have a dark pink balloon ribbon. I have a light pink balloon ribbon. And then I have some five regular ribbons. I have a light pink, a white with some sparkles around the border, white with hearts, this mesh pink, and this dark pink. And then I'm going to be making one for my friend, and because her favorite animal is unicorns, I have this stuffed unicorn plushie that I'm going to be putting it in her bouquet to make it extra special for her. So next I have three bouquets of flowers and I'm not sure if I'm going to be using them but I have them just in case if I decide I'm going to use them. And then finally you'll need scissors. So let's get started. So the first step is to take your chocolate and because mine has these little tassels on the ends I don't want them to look like this in my bouquet. I'm going to secure them to the back with tape so that they stay like this and that they'll be a nice pretty cube but if you have a different chocolate that doesn't have tassels on the ends you don't have to do this. So I'm going to take a piece of tape, like so, and then I'm going to twist it and fold it back, like this, and take my tape and secure it. Like so. all my chocolate and they're all wrapped up into cubes I'm going to take this cellophane this square and then place the chocolate in it and then bring it through like this and then I'm going to take a bamboo stick and I'm going to put it through the cellophane so that it just hits the chocolate and it's not poked through because I don't want to poke it through because it'll It'll ruin the expiration date, and that's not going to be good. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape and tape it on. So. And then it'll move a little bit, so then you have to do it a little bit lower, too. Like this.
so that it doesn't move, and this is what it looks like. So I finished all of them, and they already almost look like a bouquet. So now I decided to take my green paper ribbon, and I'm going to take my stick, and I'm going to place it on top, and then put a little tape. And then I'm going to start wrapping it all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to rip it off. I'm going to take another piece of tape and secure it one last time. petals for the flower. So I'm going to take one pink and lay it down like this on my table. Then I'm going to take a white and lay it a little bit turned away so that they aren't aligned. Then I'm going to take another pink and I'm going to align it with the other pink that I placed at the bottom so that they match up. This. Then I'm going to take another white. I'm going to align it with the white. I'm going to take another pink and another white so that I have six pieces of tissue paper. So once you have that, you want to fold it in half like so. And then you want to cut a little slit right in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to take one of my stems, and I'm going to place it right through the slit that I cut. Going to place it about halfway up, like here, and then I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to fold it one way, and then the other side the other way, so that it looks like a flower. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I'm going to secure it to the stem. And then I'm going to fix the flower so that it looks like a flower. Like so. So I finished all my flowers and these are what they look like. I decided to do some with the white inside and some with the pink inside. And because the flowers are pretty big, I didn't do all my chocolates, but I'll still be using them in my bouquet. I also decided to use my fake flowers. So now I'm gonna be preparing the unicorn for my bouquet. So first I'm going to take my pink paper tape and I'm going to take a bamboo stick, going to attach the ribbon to the stick, like this, I'm going to wrap it all the way. to attach my unicorn to my stick. So I'm going to take this really pretty light pink ribbon and I'm going to measure around my unicorn. I'm going to measure a little bit more than the unicorn's waist because I'm going to make a bow and then I'm going to curl it after. So I need extra to make sure I can curl it. 
So that looks long enough. So now I'm going to take it out and I'm going to fold it about six times. So that looks long enough and now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tie it right around the middle to attach it. Like this. So now I'm going to take my scissors and trim off that acts as ribbon. So then I'm going to tape it to my stick. Like this. Then I'm going to place my unicorn on it. I'm going to tie it. So I finished my unicorn and this is what it looks like and now I'm going to cut the curves and I'm going to curl them. So I cut them all and now I'm going to curve it. So when you're curling this ribbon, you have to look at both sides because one side has stripes on it and the other is plain. And, but it's already curling that way so that you can see which way you have to curl it. my unicorn and this is what it looks like and now I'm going to start preparing my bouquet. So now I cut all of my fake flowers so that they have a little stem left and I'm going to push up their leaves like this so that they're all the way at the top. Okay, so now I'm going to take three of my roses and I'm going to put them together. Like this. And then I'm going to take my unicorn and slide it in into the roses. to make it look like it's sitting on the roses, like this. And I'm going to fix it around. And then at the bottom, I'm going to tape them together. Chocolate 
roses that I made and I'm going to attach them to my bouquet. So I'm going to take them and place them right here in between the other flowers like this. And then I'm going to secure it to the stick. And it's okay if they're a little bit crossed like this. a chocolate in between each flower. Then I'm going to secure it to the sticks. and this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to take some pink tissue paper I'm going to lay it out and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut a little hole a hole in the middle. And then I'm going to put my bouquet through it. Like this. And pull it up like so. all my bouquets and this is the first one and it's for my friend and this is the second one that I made for one of my coaches this is the third one that I also made for one of my coaches and because I didn't want to give my middle coach flowers I took a box and filled it with a lot of chocolate I think that they turned out great I want you guys to comment down below which is your favorite. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!